you had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too Hey guys, good morning. I have someone special here to kick off the video. <laughs> Happy to the vlog. Happy to the vlog? <laughs> Happy to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog today. <laughs> so it's your snowing. It is snowing. Should we show them what it looks like? Uh -huh. It just started snowing here and they are predicting, I think, a lot of snow. So we'll see how much we get today. You open this. Yes. Oh, your vitamins? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you love your vitamins, huh? I want them every day when Daddy's not here. Clearly, I need to do some laundry today. Hi, Coley. Are you going to help me do the laundry? Let's see if baby woke up. Yeah, just everything is a mess right now, guys. <laughs> oh, you didn't clean up my room when I cleaned up the basement. I know. You guys are cleaning up your rooms. Thank you. Yeah, <gasps> Who's awake? Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. What's on your head? Winnie is I so much. Good morning, Hi. Hayden Charles. How are you doing today? Let me move out the window. We have the snow, see? Oh my gosh, it is. That was just like five minutes and there's already so much snow. We are definitely getting a lot of snow today. Okay, what outfit did you pick out for the baby? What outfit did pick, Sissy pick for you? <gasps> oh, that one's so cute. I hope it still fits him. He's already in like three month clothes and that's a newborn one, my big boy. Okay, let's see if that fits him still. Aren't you cold in that dress, honey? <laughs> Prezi likes to pick out her own clothes too, but I think we're gonna get you a sweater to put over that at least. <laughs> a little cold for a day with the blizzard. <laughs> and by the way, so many of you recommended in our last vlogs getting a wipe warmer for him because he's my only winter baby, huh? I always had spring and summer babies and it does help so much. He like doesn't cry. Majority of diaper changes now, huh? It helps you a lot. And we have some news. Your umbilical cord came off this week, huh? I think you're gonna be my one baby with an Audi. Huh, got an Audi? We came down the basement for the kids to play. And Adam set up this swing and somehow we were missing like the little straps for it. So he ordered them on Amazon. But we've had this swing since Landon. He seems to like it a lot, huh, Hayden? Do you like that swing? Really rocks him, and it's only on like the middle setting. <laughs> so crazy I have a story for you so the other day I like smelled his little like newborn head smell right and I just got flooded with the scent of yellow dial soap and I don't use yellow dial soap Adam doesn't use yellow dial soap but my dad always did when I was growing up and it just was this crazy angel wink that like my dad was here holding him and it's just so cool too because he's Hayden Charles named after my dad because my dad's name is Charles and so was his dad. So my poppy's name was Charles. My dad was a junior. So 
he just reminds me so much of my dad from his hair, his little hair on his ears, and he looks a lot like my dad's mom, his face, so he just reminds me a lot of my dad, and if you haven't been following, this will be the second Christmas that we don't have my dad. He passed away in 2019 on Father's Day, of all days. <laughs> I feel like it's ironic. He picked it on purpose because he always liked to joke his mother labored on Labor Day. He was born on Labor Day, the year he was born. And then it just seemed appropriate that of course you'd pick Father's Day so we'd never forget you. We would never forgotten you anyways, Dad. But I know he's this little one's guardian angel for sure. And yeah, the holidays are always hard because he loved the holidays so much. Like I just smile thinking about, he loved everything from Hallmark movies to going to look at Christmas lights to reading us the night before Christmas, every Christmas Eve. He had like the best voice ever. If you ever watched any of those old videos, he just, he was a very, very special person and he's very, very missed. And I had a really, really hard time just the last year because he was on hospice for almost a year. So it was a really hard last year and then just the first year when you're so deep in grief it's really really challenging and i've shared this with you before but if you are new here i sought out professional therapy because of everything i was going through it was really really hard i really really struggled and i was a little bit ashamed i think to admit that i needed that level of help but just being fully transparent my marriage was really affected negatively and I just felt like I as a mom, I was a sad mom. I was not the happy mom that I wanted to be. And so I, I desperately needed help. I needed to talk to somebody really, really badly. And I used BetterHelp for online therapy. I would like to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video today, but I could not recommend them to you more because it changed my life for the better and I just know in 2020 so many of the feelings that I had in losing my dad of grief of depression of anxiety over just the unknown of what's going to happen next the coping strategies that my therapist gave me when I worked with her those two years have been so helpful for dealing with everything in 2020 and I just I don't want you to feel alone in your feelings and just know that there's so many emotions that have come out in 2020 and you deserve somebody to talk to and that's what BetterHelp can provide for you. So BetterHelp offers online therapy with licensed professional therapists and once a week you can choose if you'd like a video chat with your therapist, you can choose if you'd like to have a phone call with your therapist, I would do both and you can at any time chat with your therapist as well in case an issue comes up or if you would like more resources or more information about something my therapist was always super responsive and just so you know if you've never done therapy before you definitely want to find the right therapist for you so if at any time you feel like the therapist isn't the right match for you on better help it's very easy to switch to a new therapist that can meet your needs they have therapists where you can say any sort of issues or things that you are dealing with so that you get matched with the right person for you and what I love about it is you don't have to go into an in-person office, wait in a waiting room. It is so much easier to fit into a busy schedule. And it also is more cost effective. There is financial aid available. I get asked that a lot when I've shared about BetterHelp. And if you use my URL, it's betterhelp.com slash Brianna. I will also have it linked in the description box for you as well. You can get 10% off of your therapy with BetterHelp. And I just, I know it changed my life for the better. And I wish the same for you going into 2021, that you can have a better year than you've ever had before. Definitely better than 2020. And just know you are not alone and you deserve to talk to somebody. I definitely needed to hear that. And that was the reason why I even sought out going to better help for myself is that I needed somebody to tell me that. So 
if you have not been told that, know that you are loved, you matter, and you deserve to talk to somebody. And there is somebody who is ready to help you with their professional guidance and support right now on betterhelp.com. Just go to betterhelp.com slash Brianna so you get that 10% off. But just know I love you. And I know that the holidays probably feel a lot different this year. I know they felt so different last year without my dad for the first time and they feel even more different this year because we will not be seeing a lot of our family this year and I know so many of you are going through the same thing. So I just want to send you my love and tell you that you are not alone and you have this community here to support and help you and if at any time you need a prayer, you know you can always leave one in the comments here on this channel and me and so many others in our community are there to rally behind you and support you and pray for you. So just know you're loved and that you matter. I'm so glad you're here. And truly, I'm just, I'm so grateful for you. So sending you so much love and wishing you a Merry Christmas. And when this little guy, maybe when you wake up or maybe I'll figure out a way to put him down. It's so hard for me to put him down. I never want to put him down. I know brother and sister really want to go outside and play in the snow since we have a bunch of snow now. So we'll try to do that here soon. Even when my teardrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is and none of has made me realize that I won't build my life on empty words. Being so damn naive. It oh my goodness. That is the other day, but I can't believe how fast it snowed out here. We had a huge tree break apart the last snow we had because it was so heavy. So Adam has to clear that out on a nice day. Did you lose a glove, Prezi? Oh, no, I just put it in on. So I lost it all. Okay. Yeah? Um, because usually moving water takes a lot longer to freeze. It has to be a lot colder for the moving water to start to freeze. It will, it will freeze if it stays cold enough. Has to be under 32 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Pushing you. You got a pump too, okay? So I saw this on Pinterest, but I just took three like jumbo marshmallows and the little pretzel sticks and I like skewered the three onto the stick and then drew with magic marker the little faces so they don't get to eat these too. They can eat these. <laughs> but you kind of take them and you're supposed to like set them on top of their hot cocoa cups so they're like little snowmen floating on the cocoa cups. 
think I'm still gonna put like mini marshmallows and whipped cream on these for them though, but I just wanted to share these because I thought that they were really cute. Take my hand, one big somehow. I know that this is like so extra, but I feel like this is the kind of stuff that my mom always did. Like my mom is a very extra like in how she decorates and just like she always tries to find like fun recipes or cute recipes. So I feel like I've got to carry on the tradition for here. Let's focus on this. This is so funny. A oh, little floating snowman mug. Bonnie and Clyde. A classic cliche. I just realized it's almost dinner time, so I'm just gonna heat up their dinner, which I made these pizzas in my Christmas motivation video, like my Christmas prep video. So they're in there if you've already seen it, but Adam even said, he's like, those are so cute. I made like candy cane pizzas, so I just used like the pizza dough, Pillsbury pre-made pizza dough, and like twisted two pieces of dough to make the candy cane and then you do like the sauce the cheese and these are little pepperoni that I cut into little strips to make the candy cane and then you can also make the snowman and it comes like in a roll so I just cut the roll of dough to make the circles and then like smushed it and same thing sauce cheese and then I used black olives for like the cold pieces and then cut the pepperoni into triangles with little carrot nose <laughs> So some fun little winter Christmas pizzas. So here's the kids' dinner. They have their pizza, black olives, carrots, and blackberries. What? This is the best taco Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. You like it? Did you like yours, Presley? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you just eat that whole marshmallow? Mm -hmm. I well, don't talk with your mouth full. I don't want you to choke. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, Mom. Did someone wake up? Mm -hmm. Hungry for your dinner? Mm -hmm. So you're always hungry for your dinner just when Mommy makes her dinner. <laughs> yeah, dinner time, right? How are you going to get fed if Mommy doesn't feed herself? Huh? Mommy just put together. It's by Sakara. It's a, I think it's a burrito bowl. A burrito bowl salad is what it is. I'm trying to eat as healthy as I can. Like, Pussy said, like, what well, if Todd sits on those flowers over there on the desk? By, by the, by the flowers. Well, then we can't touch him all day. Not a lot. Whatever he's on, you can't touch all day, or he loses his magic. Remember? Well, if we water, but how are we going to water that plant? Oh, I forgot. We did we forget the second time to water the plants today? I don't know. Did you water them? Because you watered them one time, I have to water them again. Okay, go water them. Get for you. And when the time we go, and when we get the time we go. Now it's my turn to do it. What secret are you telling him? What's the secret you're telling him? No secret for you to tell me. You won't tell me? So we were just talking. And we we're gonna watch Christmas Vacation for our Christmas movie night. But Landon, where in the world would you go if we could travel? Where would you want to go on Christmas Vacation? South of China. South of China? Uh huh. What would you want to see there? Pandas. Oh, that's cool. Such fun facts over here. Uh huh. I know what's about. You do. Uh, you pay so much attention. About wild classes. About wild classes. The most traditional case you'll show ever. <laughs> Daddy, where would you go if we could travel? 
for Christmas vacation. I would want to go to Germany. Like, Germany. Like, heard they do it. They do Christmas big there. And yeah, I mean, I loved our first trip. So. I know, our trip was so good. I wish we could have stayed even longer. Now can it be Presley's turn? Okay, Presley. Yeah. If yeah, you could go anywhere in the world for Christmas vacation, where would you want to go? Where? North Pole. The North Pole. The North Pole. Cool. You're gonna go see the big cheese up there? The head honcho? Maybe Todd will take you with him. And I will have to do You need you to give half of those magic to place me. Yeah, you'd have to share his magic. So so now it's Hay now can it be Hayden's toy? Hayden, <laughs> where are you going? I'm going to war on Russia. You'd go to Russia? I mean, I would go to the place. <laughs> Aiden just tooted. Um, I, I guess Tudor Land. Tudor Land? <laughs> Are you having some gym time? While I clean up the kitchen and Daddy cleans up the big kids in their bath. <laughs> stretches right now which sounds better than two but I yeah. feel like it still doesn't give you like a long enough stretch of sleep to feel like yeah when's he supposed to be able to sleep longer than that I don't think it's until like two months so I've still got a while so I'll just keep eating my cosmic brownie <laughs> call it a midnight snack but yeah it's what even time it's not even eight o'clock and we're literally like yeah, I try to go to bed. <laughs> it was soon after the kids was possible, so that then I can get up around four and take. You're better at than me. The rest of the, the rest of the morning. It's so hard night. for me to go to sleep early. Like even though I'm so tired, it's so hard for me to actually like go to sleep early. 
Yeah, it kind of is for me too, but the like antihistamine thing they have me taking, uh, uh, helps knock you out. Yes. But I was telling Adam, I think this is going to be the last video we put up before Christmas. And we just have some crazy stuff happening in 2021 that we're just excited. We'll share as soon as we can about all of that. But we're just so grateful because even though 2020 was not the 2020 we thought we would have, I feel like the community and just like the support and love for Hayden because obviously his welcome into the world was not what we thought it was going to be either. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, uh, we appreciate everybody watching and uh, so yeah, much. we've got some big news to share pretty soon, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, we should be able to share it in January. Praise Brandon again. Shut up. No, like, that would not even be possible. <laughs> this would, I'd be like the second Virgin Mary if that was the case. <laughs> like. Just kidding. Uh, but it's exciting news. So. <laughs> You're so it's been bad. For that. Not pregnant. <laughs> I don't even know if that will ever happen. But yes, probably. Do you not think? There's like flow. a 50, oh my god. <laughs> There's like a 50 50 chance. It's so weird when I shake my head now though. Like, Everybody's like gonna think it's gonna be like, is there gonna be a haircut in 2021? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There wasn't in 2020. No, there wasn't. <laughs> and Landon refuses to let us cut his too. Maybe in January. But I like, I really don't, I don't want you to. I want you to keep it grown out. Because I feel like this is the one time in your life you're gonna have it grown out. Well, yeah. I grew it out. Or it's uh, oh wait, I think I'm Okay, yeah. We okay, go. we're done. All right, bye guys. <laughs> bye. Merry Christmas. <laughs>